They're the ones that turned the Beatles down. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Because he was doing a bit of work for them. Um, he, he probably the one that said, don't get the Beatles, I man. think They're so. Shit. I actually think he oh, might have been. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. He was convinced that they had implanted microphones behind the wallpaper in his flat and were listening to his ideas. Because um, he used to... is fucking horrible, isn't Yeah, it? horrific. It really is actually horrible. Absolutely horrific. So he, he thought that poltergeists were controlling him. Right in his flat, he thought that when he when he was in his flat, that the minute he walked in, a poltergeist would enter his body and control him, walk him around, and make him do stuff. Full on convinced that this was a thing. Now he was working with a band called the Tornadoes, and he was going to the band called the uh, Heinsburt, and he had a shotgun. And he used to carry a shotgun around apparently in the van in case grief broke out or somebody yeah. wouldn't pay him or whatever. And Joe decided one day, listen fucking Hines you can't be having this shotgun you know what I mean you're in England now you can't be carrying the shotgun I'm yeah. going to take it off you and I'll stash it for when Mitch Mitchell is here exactly for when the Cray twins come after me uh, so the odd time he this the song I picked is called uh, Night of the Vampire it's fucking incredible it's so good it's a band called the Moon Trackers that he worked with and he was known to kind of do a few little musical bits with the Moon Trackers and put down some vocal lines and produce them and have a bit of crack. It's hard to find stuff that he actively played on a lot. Yeah. But I picked this because this is a great this is a great track. It's another kind of instrumental. It just sounds like something Rob Zombie would put in a film, you know. It's got that, that fucking mad shit going yeah. on. So, here we go. His landlady, her name is Violet Shenton. And one day... Joan Beak has a particularly bad schizophrenic fucking bipolar episode. He believes that his landlady is, has uh, set microphones up in the fireplace on the ground floor and is recording everything he says via the chimney in his flat. And this has been going on for ages and he keeps calling her up to the room and he's screaming at her saying, listen, stop recording me. I know you've got microphones set up in your flat below me and I know you're recording what I'm talking about in the flat. She's like, I don't know what's happening about Joe. Chill your beans. You know what I mean? Relax the fuck. You're a mad bastard. Exactly. You absolute fucking looper. But you've plenty of money. So keep paying that delicious, delicious rent. One day he calls her up. No extra for the ghosts. Exactly. Ghosts live rent free in Joe Meek's house. On his head. <laughs> exactly. God love him. He, uh, one day he calls her up. He says, fucking get up the fuck up here. She's thinking, oh, it's going to fucking give out to me now about recording the microphones. them through the fucking chimney again Jesus Christ this is nonsense she goes up walks in the front door pulls the shotgun that he took off high sport blows her fucking head off oh, turns it around hell. shoots himself in the head that's the end of Joe Meek yeah. fucking murder suicide chop in his oh, own hey flat. Joe what's about hey Joe did Jimmy Hendrix song I have no idea where are you going with that gun that's a hand? cover isn't it it oh, is yeah, a cover so yeah. it's, definitely it's, not, not. it's not him yeah, uh, yeah. killed um, killed his landlady uh, Violet and kills himself um, when they were cleaning up the apartment they found this giant chest big wooden chest and apparently had like 2000 reel to reel tapes in it of music and effects that he had like invented and created in the apartment and that was apparently this is one of the sources of his fucking psychosis was that when somebody would release an album or a song or a song or a single and he would hear an effect or a weird type of thing in it that he thought that he had created in his flat and hadn't actually brought it into his own studio yet, he thought that his landlady was listening to him or Decca Records was listening to him. And but stealing yeah, those effects. And stealing those, them all, yeah. yeah. So the, the the schizophrenia and the bipolar um, just got a hold of him and that was the end of it. Fucking, and his, his landlady had to suffer as well. you know. Yeah. But yeah, Joe Meek, listen to that song. As as scumbaggy as that is, that's a mental illness, right? Uh, yeah, fucking, that's yeah, exactly. And um, that's yeah, that's, one of that's the, two victims really there. Yeah, um, as terrible as it sounds, but listen to that song. That night of vampire is outrageous. It's so good. It's so good. All a bit of a downer after this podcast. A little bit, yeah. We have to drink more gargle and record another one. Let's do that. You asked for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Um, yeah, yeah, that's I just want it. To go over it quick again. Keep yeah. me on a brandy. Absolutely fine. That's in, a, in the that they're, they're fine I, put, I put them at the start because just the more I read about it, I was like, ah, I'm not would not hold them accountable mm. for that. Uh, well, you know, what oh, geez, maybe the families do. They probably do. So. Oh, of course, yeah. if you were, if, if, you, if, if someone was involved in any way, shape, or form in, yeah. in the death to do with somebody uh, you loved, that's who you're going 100%, after. 100%. Let, let's be honest. But uh, that's our grim 
uh, musicians and our gin, gin, people involved gin. music who have, who have done a, a bad murder. A bad murder. Actually, do you know what would be a great soundtrack to this podcast? Would be that last song, that Night of the Vampire song. Really? Would, would fit really well behind what we're talking about. But yeah, we do not in any way condone any of the actions of any of these people. Jesus, obviously. Um, accidental or absolute scumbaggery. The bangers, yes. The, do the songs stand alone? I don't know. I'm not the one to make that argument. Loads um, of them do. Loads of them do, but I, I'm not going to be the one. Especially that Rad Diggs. <laughs> 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 anyway, that's uh, that's our Grim Killers one. Uh, yeah, we will put a little possible warning on it, especially yeah. because of that fucking Big Lurch bit, which I still feel a bit queasy about. Yeah, Big Lurch is not, not a nice lad. No, that's our... Uh, you know what? I, I think I suggested this one and then instantly regret it. And you were like, nah, let's do it. Let's do it. This is a good one. I, th- these are the ones that you get a little bit of meat behind, you know? Yeah, listen, it's, it's story related. It's, it is music history, which uh, exactly. we're doing very well on the charts, with, apparently. Music we are history. doing, but we, not, we kicked the shit out of Robert Plant this week. Yeah. Robert Plant from Led Zeppelin has his own podcast, and we kicked him square in the stones this week. And we uh, jumped ahead of him. Good. Yeah, uh, we moved to number two in the music charts. Um, music history charts. Was it? I music can't remember. Song, yeah. I do not remember. Uh, we moved to the numbers. number two in a chart. <laughs> in all of, the, all of the charts of, yeah. of all Billboard. Here, here's the thing about podcasts. It's actually really difficult to get numbers and uh, placements to help because there's so many there's so many different outlets for podcasts. It's really difficult to get them all together. Yeah. What I will say before we go is something I'm going to say on every single podcast to get used to it. We have a Patreon. Yeah, This takes time to do. As much as we enjoy doing it, it will be great to... Uh, to make a few quid and pay for hosting and ads and equipment. I ordered a bunch of equipment last week. It does make us sound better. It does actually make us sound better. Because we sound like gremlins otherwise. A little bit. I'm actually sick at the moment. Are you a bit sick? No. Are you all right? very strange I haven't been sick. I'm yeah. a little sick boy. I'm a little bit sick at the moment, which yeah. is rare for me as well. Uh, but yeah, we have a Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash lost art podcast. It's five euro a month. That's our only tier. The one We're not doing tiers above that. No. Stick with that one. Um, and we really appreciate the new people who've come on to it as there's, well. there's people on there you, you won't be the first one don't worry you're joining the group we have a bunch of stuff that we're going to put up on Patreon we're just waiting for enough people to be there for there to be for an to actual sense, audience yeah, yeah. there's no point in putting it up there um, but at it's, the moment. it's already made a difference so we, we really appreciate it thank you like, at the moment hosting is paid for now we're onto equipment and we recorded a video today as well um, the day we recorded this podcast and that's all equipment that we bought ourselves out of our own pockets and stuff mm. we had lying around we can make better content with better equipment and we can have more fun we can actually break out of the studio and fucking do some fun stuff for you yes. but uh, thanks for listening and we're back again next week thank you <laughs>